Hey guys, welcome to another math lesson on algebra. Last lesson you guys learned about how to draw the graph of an equation. And today we're going to analyze the different aspects of a straight line equation. And also we're going to show you that given a straight line, how you can go backwards and find out uh, the equation for it. So if you remember uh, last lesson we started off with drawing equations drawing the graph or equations such as y equals 2x or y equals 5x or y equals 10x and basically the difference is the number in front of x and this is called the coefficient coefficient of x and the first thing I want to show you is how changing this number at the front can change how the graph looks so let's go into Graphmatica which is a program that you can use to draw graphs you can simply download this program from graphmatica.com and the first equation we'll draw is y equals x and you can see that y equals x there is a straight line uh, down the diagonal here and how it works uh, you should be familiar with uh, drawing the uh, table for it drawing the table of values for it so when x is 0 y is 0 when x is 2 y is 2 when x is 4 y is 4 and so on Alright, so that is the first equation, y equals x, that's the straight line for it. Now, I want to show you what y equals 2x looks like. Now, the green line that I have just drawn here is y equals 2x. And you can see what has changed is the slope of the graph. How steep the graph is has changed. Right, originally y equals x is not very steep and now y equals 2x makes it steeper and if we try y equals 4x we get the black line here which is really steep compared to the other two. Now let's try a number smaller than 1. Okay, so originally we had y equals x which gave us the blue line. Let's try y equals 0.5x and now we get the dark blue line uh, which is less steep than the light blue line so the number in front of x we call we also call this number here the slope of the graph and because this number affects the slope of the graph so the short way of saying that uh, the jargon that we use is gradient okay so the number in front of X is called the gradient of the straight line and we also call it M. Now don't ask me why we chose the symbol M. It's like how we chose X and Y from the alphabet. Uh, there is really no, uh, no apparent reason. We just picked a random alphabet and we said M is going to represent the gradient. So the next thing we want to talk about is if you remember we drew an equation such as Y equals x plus 2 now I'm just gonna clear all the graphs on my uh, on my Graphmatica and the first thing I want to draw is y equals x again so I have the pink line down the diagonal now I'm gonna try draw y equals x plus 1 and what you can see is this black line is y equals x plus 1 
and the slope has not changed right it is the same steepness as the pink line uh, the only thing that has changed is it has moved up vertically by one unit now let's try x plus 3 and you can see we got this red line with the same slope as the other lines but uh, it has moved up by three units x plus 5 you can probably guess the light blue line is here and it's the same slope but it's gone up uh, five units from our starting point so the number that we plus or minus after x actually let's do a minus one as well let's do x minus two and you can see we have generated a green line that is moved down by two units so the number after x is the y-intercept Oops. this number here represents where the line intersects the y-axis alright so which is called the y-intercept y-intercept so back in the uh, back in the uh, Graphmatica y equals x intercepts the y-axis at uh, the origin 0 0 but if you put plus 1 our new line y equals x plus 1 intersects the y-axis at uh, y equals 1 and if we try plus 3 you can see that the line intersects our y-axis at y equals 3 so basically the number after x plus or minus a certain number that is the y-intercept so the general formula general formula of a straight line of a straight line equation is y equals mx plus c where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept which is where the line intersects our y-axis so now we're going to try and work backwards if I give you a straight line graph how do you then go backwards and find out what the equation is? So we know that firstly the equation is equal to y equals mx plus c. Right, all straight lines will have this general equation. Now m, which is the gradient, how do you find the gradient of a straight line you use the formula gradient equals rise over run so what does that mean well if you can remember gradient is the slope of the line how steep this line is so how do you know how steep the line is well firstly you pick any two points on this line so let's pick this point here uh, let me use a different color let's pick this point here and this point here now these two points you can pick them anywhere on this straight line it'll be the same answer so the gradient equals rise over run and the rise is simply the vertical distance between these two points so if you look at the if you look at these two points vertically uh, from the point on the left to the point on the right 
it has risen by 2, 3, 4, 5. The rise is 3 boxes. 1, 2, 3. So the rise is 3. And if you want to calculate the rise numerically, you can see that the second point here has a y coordinate of 5. And the first point here has a y coordinate of 2. So 5 minus 2. Rise is 5 minus 2, which is 3. And now let's look at the run. The run is simply the horizontal distance between the two points. So horizontally, how much has the line, the dot moved from left to right? So the run, which is this horizontal distance, is one unit. Right. From here to here, it's only one box. So run is one. Or if you want to calculate it numerically, you can see the second point has a y coordinate of 1. So the second point here lies on 1, and the first point lies on 0. So 1 minus 0 is 1. Okay, so the gradient is equal to rise over run, which is equal to the rise is 3. The run is 1, so 3 divided by 1 is 3. And now let's uh, get the y-intercept. C is the y-intercept. And you can see that the straight line intersects the y-axis at 2. So y-intercept is 2. And now you can simply write the straight line equation as y equals mx plus c y equals 3x plus 2 okay let's do another equation okay so let's have a look at this graph here find the equation of this line now we know the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c and let's pick two points on this line. So let's pick uh, this point and this point. Okay, so let's have a look at the rise. Sorry, let's find the gradient. So M is the gradient, which is rise over run. Now the rise between the two points. So going up from one point to the other point oops rest of the lesson to draw a straight line okay so the rise from left to right is uh, we have y equals 9 on the second dot y equals 1 on the first dot so rise equals 9 minus 1 which is 8 so from left to right, this dot has risen 8 units. Now from left to right, the run is equal to 2 minus 0, which is 2 units. So the rise is 8 units, the run is 2 units, so 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now let's look at the y-intercept. Or the line touches the y-axis at y, y equals 1. So y-intercept is 1. And the general formula for this equation is y equals 4x plus 1. Okay, now you guys are going to try find the equation of a line yourself. Okay, try find the equation of this line and come back when you have done it. Okay, so we know the equation of the straight line is y equals mx plus c. 
the gradient is rise over run and picking any two points so let's pick this point here and this point here and the rise vertically is uh, 15 minus 5 which is 10 and the run horizontally is 2 minus 0 which is 2 so putting that into our equation rise is 10 run is 2 10 divided by 2 is 5 now the y-intercept you can see the line touches the y-axis at y equals 5 so the equation of this line is y equals 5x plus 5. Okay, so now let's try a graph with a negative gradient. Okay, as you can see, this line is now going down from left to right. So when the line, so if the line is going down, if line goes up from left to right, if the line is going up from left to right, such as a line like this, then it is a positive gradient. Now, in this case, the line is going down from left to right. If line goes down from left to right, so in this case, the line is going down from left to right, it is a negative gradient. So, and you can tell from using the gradient equation anyway. So gradient is rise over run. And if you pick two points on this graph, let's say we pick this point here and this point here. Okay, so let's look at the vertical difference. So from here down to here, the rise well, if you have a look at this point here, the point on the right has a y corner of 1. And the point on the left has a y corner of 7. So 1 minus 7. So the rise, 1 minus 7 is negative 6. If you're not sure about negative numbers, you might need to do a tutorial on negative numbers. Okay, now let's look at the run. So from left to right, from this point here to this point here, the run is, uh, this point here has, a y, has an x corner of 0. So 0 minus, this point here has an x corner of negative 3. So 0 minus negative 3 is 0 plus 3, which is 3. So the run is still positive. So the rise is negative, the rise is negative 6, the run is 3. So negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Okay, now let's do the uh, y-intercept. Right, y-intercept is 1. So y equals mx plus c, y equals negative 2x plus 1. That is the equation of this line. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial on finding the equation of a straight line. See you next time.